Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're doing very good. Today we're going to start a new unit and the title of this unit is Introduction to Meta Heuristics. This is a really interesting and, and beautiful topic, especially for engineers, because engineering is all about efficiency and optimization and here we're going to learn to deal with really hard optimization problems. And why do I say really hard? Well, because if we apply what we've learned in, in this degree up till now, if we apply conventional methods to optimize, we may find the optimal solution, okay? But it may take us a really long time. And when I say really long time, I'm not talking about hours or days or even weeks. I'm talking about thousands or millions of years. So basically, there is really no point in applying conventional methods to these really hard problems because it would take too long. And what we're going to do is to compromise to some extent on the quality of the solution. So we may not find the, the optimal solution. We will, we will find a, a solution that is good enough for our purposes and we will do that very quickly. Okay, that, that's the whole point of meta heuristics. So we're going to compromise on the quality of the solution in order to get a quick solution that will be probably good enough to fix the problem that we want to fix. And that's what we're going to learn in, in this unit. The outline of the presentation is, is the one you can see on the screen. In, in a couple of minutes, we're going to give you a few references that will be useful if you want to depend on this topic. And then we're going to be more precise about the kind of problems that we're going to deal with in, in this unit. And these are combinatorial optimization problems. These are problems, basically, where you want to find um, the best solution, an, an optimal solution, among a finite set of candidate solutions. Okay, the, the, the space of candidate solutions is finite. And an example of this is, is the traveling salesman problem, which is probably the, the most famous problem in, in optimization and in computer science. And basically, it goes as follows. Um, we want to visit a list of cities. Okay, here these are the capitals in Europe or, or some of the capitals. And we're also given the distance between each pair of cities. And what we want to do is to find the shortest possible route that goes through each of these uh, cities. And, and that's it. That's the problem. So if you think about it, the space of possible solutions, of candidate solutions, is discrete. And in this case, is, is the number of cities factorial, right? Because that's the, the number of possible arrangements uh, of, of all the cities we want to visit. So this is the typical problem um, in combinatorial optimization. And this is the kind of problem we're going to deal with. And to solve this, this kind of problem, we're going to use meta heuristics. That's what we're going to learn in this unit. We're going to learn also a classification of meta heuristics and we're going to discuss the basic mechanisms that underlie any meta heuristics. And these are basically exploration and exploitation. If we have a problem like, like the one we can see down here, we want to find the margin, the maximum of, of this landscape, we're going to have to to find a good balance between exploring the whole space so we don't miss the, the greatest, the highest peaks in the landscape, but also uh, to exploit those regions that look promising, regions where we're at, at high altitude. So we're, we're always going to have to find the right balance between exploring a wide um, region of the solution space and also exploiting those regions that, that look promising. Then we're going to discuss um, the kind of features or characteristics of problems that 
suggest that using meta heuristics may be useful or promising and we're gonna see two of the most basic algorithms that usually form part of any meta heuristics and these are random search and local search. Random search is basically 100% exploration and local search is 100% exploitation. We, we will discuss this in in the following videos. And then we're gonna discuss with greater depth this example of the traveling salesman problem that we, we just introduced. And finally, we're gonna discuss some of the problems we may have uh, with this basic algorithm of, of local search, which is often a, a component of, of me, many meta heuristics. And we will finish with a, a short summary of, of this unit. The references that you may find useful if you want to deepen on, on this topic are the ones you can see on the screen. And the last one is particularly useful because you can find it for free at, at that web address. But if you follow these videos and, and you understand them well, in principle, you you should be fine. So you wouldn't have to look at these references and unless you're interested, obviously, which, which would be great. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.